Welcome back folks to another Today's Angler Musky Tip Instructional video. Uh, let's just say you are out on the lake throwing your favorite glide bait perhaps and you're just gliding along, gliding along and BAM! A pike decides to rip your tail off. Doesn't that suck? Okay, well, what are we gonna do now? Well, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do now. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove all of what's left of the tail on there. And actually, it's a good idea to get this cleaned really well with a hook file, except I forgot to grab my hook file here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna just actually file away and remove all of that rubber off there. Just kind of scrape it off. You could use a pocket knife, what have you. Just like so. That should be good enough anyway. Okay, so I'm actually gonna show you on this bait. Cause this is so much cooler looking than that old uh, janky looking pelagic glide. Look at that new beautiful shifty perch. Okay, cause I just happen to have an orange tail here. So we'll start with this one. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab some tails. Now Chaos Tackle makes these killer tails that work well. Um, you can use like kaolin grubs or any kind of grub, but really importantly is to not have too large a grub for the plastic. Uh, this is a six inch glide bait. We're gonna be using the small size killer tail on here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do, really important I think, is to grab some paper towel. And often, these grubs will have an oil on them to keep them from sticking together and I think it just keeps them softer or whatever. It's a release for the mold. So I actually like to wipe that off and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do, you're not going to want to put that entire grub on. Okay, so this is like really long. That's more than you need. So I'm actually going to cut this down. And you would think, oh, you take a razor blade, a uh, pair of scissors, no way. you would never be able to cut that thing uh, flush. This is how you're gonna cut it. This is probably one of the biggest secrets I could, I could show you right here. I'm gonna take this uh, line, if I can pick it up. This is the, doesn't matter what line you're using, I just happen to have this really bright uh, Power Pro Super Slick. And we're gonna actually cut this with the line. So I'm going to get this right in front of me here. And I'm going to take off three sections of this grub. So we'll, the grub has one section, two, let's go to the third one. And we're going to wrap that line around the grub and just make sure, whoops, see I, I missed there. It's not, now it's skipped to the fourth one. So we'll do it again. I'm actually doing it backwards so it's harder for me to do it this direction. Okay, make sure it's all, yep, it's all in the third one. And I gotta hold the spool as well, here we go. I'm just gonna pull that tight, boom. Perfectly flush cut across, just like that. Okay, so why did I wipe it down with the paper towel? Well, <clears throat> you gotta get that oil off it or else it isn't gonna stick to your glide bait. And when you grab that uh, line and pull it through the bait. It'll actually oil the front of that grub or you know where you cut it off flush there So very important part of this process Okay, so here's an uh, age-old argument. Do you put the grub tail up? Do you put the grub tail down? Like this or like this? Uh, I do think it should be one way or the other Okay, so in my opinion, I actually like to have the grub tail down. And the reason for that is when the bait is on the pause and it's actually sinking a little bit slowly, I just think that tail is going to move more when it's in the uh, down position. If it's in the up position, you know what I'm saying, or it's curled up like this, it's just not going to do as much. So that's the reason I put it 
in the down position like so. All right, so most glide baits will have some kind of a pin coming out of the bait like this. I just happen to use a screw, which I don't know, I think it maybe sticks a little better because it's got the uh, threads on it there. So at any rate, first make sure that your pin is straight. Sometimes if you like hit the bottom or step on it in your tackle box, uh, that thing can get off center. So I like to make sure that that pin is straight uh, another thing you'll actually, uh, it's kind of a minute thing, but especially in wood glide baits, sometimes this pin is not perfectly centered because the drill bit wanders, and when you put it in, it actually ends up off, you know, offset one side or the other. So I'll just make sure that, um, let's just say this screw eye was way over to one side of the bait. Obviously, you're going to want to... Uh, um, <clears throat> compensate for that being to the side. Now this particular one is fairly good and centered. So at this point, I'm ready to put it on. Okay, so being centered, I'm actually gonna put it right in the middle, just like so. And make sure that it's centered up and down and right to left. And that looks good there. So we're gonna push it through and I'm going to push it all the way on. Then I'm going to check again, make sure that's straight, make sure that's straight. Uh, it's actually a little bit tail down, so I'll actually pull the grub off a little bit and put it back in. And there, look, I actually, uh, a little more. There, now the grub is completely straight up and down as well. Okay, obviously we got to glue it, but this is your pilot hole here. So we're going to pull that off. We're going to grab our super glue, and the absolute bomb for super glue is this, uh, what is it, brand? Loctite. Loctite brand gel control. Okay. Um, you start using uh, liquid super glue, and it's going to run all over, and then you got your hand glued to your bait. It's just not a good deal. Okay. So we're going to put a bead of this super glue right around the edge of the plastic like so not too much you don't need much then I'll put a little in the middle okay and then the last step I'm actually going to put a little bit on my screw threads just like so just a little bit all right going to pick up my glider push it in then I'm going to before I push it all the way on I'm going to Turn it a couple times to spread that super glue around the threads. I'm going to push it on. Okay, and then I'm going to hold it there. You got to hold it for at least 15 seconds. Just like so. And we can straighten it out uh, once those 15 seconds have passed in case it's a little bit off center or tipping up or tipping down. So we got about 10 seconds. Make sure it's centered. Yep, looks good. Voila. And look at that. It's actually perfect on that direction. We'll rotate it one more time. That looks good. And that baby is on there nice and tight. Such a simple process. Uh, it sometimes takes a little bit of practice, but to get your tail on straight like that is so important to to keeping the right, you know, uh, properties of the bait gliding side to side, uh, where it doesn't want to run upward or you know, just you know, head towards the surface. That's a common problem you'll find if your bait is wanting to pop up is perhaps um, sticking outside of the body itself. Uh, that's really crucial to kind of streamline that. Um, because it'll create a rudder. If it's sticking out of one side, it's going to want to favor one direction. So that's pretty much it to reattaching a rubber tail of your choice, whatever kind you'd like to use. Um, we'll leave a link down in the description below where you can uh, get these tails uh, or whatever kind of tails you want. doesn't matter, but this happens to be the chaos. Uh, chaos tails on this six inch pelagic glider. Thank you very much for watching this. If you'd like to see other tip videos, just go to the how to section in the playlist and 
we'll give you some more videos on little tips such as that. Catch you on the next video.